Oh, Scott, is your Wi-Fi on? Scott, is your Wi-Fi on? Check it out for yourself, man. Whoa, dude, that's sick, bro! Whoa! Besides telling you whether or not your Wi-Fi is on, a button press also lists your Wi-Fi network name and passwords for guests to use. Holding the button for 5 seconds does a routine that tests flashing the lights. The best way to test if this actually does anything was to reset the router. The device connects to my Wi-Fi network and monitors two things. If it is still connected to my network, and if it can connect to Google.com. These two things help you determine if your Wi-Fi is down, or if there is a problem reaching websites. The Wi-Fi connection is checked every several seconds, and as you can see, it takes quite a while for the router to reset itself. This was the first project made possible with my new 3D printer. The time to print was 25.5 hours. The 3D printer is a CraftBot Plus, and the material used was PLA. I decided to use prototyping board for all of the electrical components. As you'll eventually see, I would have saved myself a lot of grief with a custom PCB ordered online.
played around with different light diffusion sheets made with the 3D printer. I ended up going with sheets of PLA with a thickness of 0.8 millimeters. The front sign is made from acrylic I cut to size with a frosted glass film that I designed and ordered online. Space was tight inside the enclosure so I needed to remove a couple of the screw standoffs. I originally designed it with two buttons before realizing some of the components wouldn't fit on the main board and needed to go to a satellite board. Parts like the faceplate and light diffusers were designed the same size as the openings so they could snap together and not require any screws or adhesion. The finishing touch was finding a design to put over the hole of the button I removed. If you want to see more things like this in the future, make sure to subscribe.